Hello, dear friends. A very good morning. And may God bless you all. And I believe that He blesses. He blesses everyone. It doesn't matter if a person deserves it or not. What matters is that He blesses everyone. Obviously, He blesses us with the sunshine, with the rain. He blesses us with His oxygen, with life. He blesses with everything that He makes available for us in this world. But He does not accept to be divided with the world. Did you know that? God is the only one. He is the only Creator and Lord, the only God. Do you know what the word God means? God means one who is to be worshipped. One who is to be worshipped, revered, to be respected, to be feared above all things, above all things and everyone, including the world and everything that is in the world. So, when a person places anything or anyone in God's place, then God is not with this person. He does not approve of this person. He does not make himself present in that person's life. We spoke a lot about the text of John that says there, John said, the Holy Spirit through him said the following, that he who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The world is wonderful, it's beautiful, beautiful, but it has nothing good to offer to our soul. The world has everything to offer to our flesh, to our lust, our desires, our vanities, our dreams, the world has everything to offer. It's what it, it has, but it doesn't satisfy not even a single bit the needs of our soul. Our soul is only complete, is only at peace. It only has peace when it is in direct connection with God, when it is loved by God when the love of God is in it, and it loves Him in return. And that's why the Bible says that the first great commandment is to love the Lord your God with all of your soul, with all of your heart, and with all of your strength. So when a person, or when God finds a person whose soul loves Him indeed, and places Him first in their life, then yes, God makes His dwelling place in that person. He dwells in that person through His love. And what is His love? His Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is this, dear friend. It's the mind of our Lord Jesus Christ inside of our mind. It's God Himself inside of us. Wow, this is extraordinarily great, magnificent, majestic. Have you thought you having God inside of you, leading your life, conducting your thoughts, giving you ideas? Have you thought you married with God? Him being your husband, as the prophet Isaiah said, I am your husband. Have you imagined God being one with you and you being one with Him? Very well. That's what God wants. When we love God with all of our heart, 
with all of our strength, with all of our thoughts, we only think we only think of pleasing Him. He has to be the first one to be pleased, meaning our will is totally surrendered to Him. When we make this decision, which is something personal, and everyone has the right to choose, you have the right to choose your husband, your wife, you have the right to have children or not to have them, to choose your profession, you have the right to, to eat what you want, you can do whatever you want with your life. But when God finds, this is very nice, when God finds someone who wants to please Him above themselves, above their personal well-being, when God finds someone who considers Him, Oh Lord, You are so great, so glorious, so magnificent, so loving, You are so full of compassion and, and merciful. I know that we are not perfect. I know that we are full of imperfections and flaws. However, you chose to come and dwell inside of us. It's because you found a sincere heart, a surrendered, a truthful heart. And then, oh dear friend, the Holy Spirit comes and makes his dwelling place. He makes that body, that person, his dwelling place, the temple of the living God. So every person whom God chooses, He chooses them personally to make His dwelling place in them. So He comes and turns that person into a temple. His dwelling place, the dwelling place of the God the Spirit. And He never leaves again. Day, night, any situation, any place, whatever are the circumstances, He is there because He is married with that person. However, however, He has to find this person. If He finds in you this person that considers Him, Oh my God, I know that I am nothing. I am a zero to the left. But you are merciful. You saw me. And when he sees this person, that they are sincere, they are truthful, they are, they are sincere, they are who they are. They don't try to pretend to be someone they are not. No, they are who they are. Towards God, oh my Father, have mercy on me. Then God comes upon this person and makes his dwelling place in them. Oh, dear friend, God is one to be worshipped. He is the one to be respected, considered. He is the one to be truly loved, but loved not with feelings. It's not loved by saying, oh, I feel this love in my heart. No, it's not to love. It's not the, the, the love that God requires of us has to be a practical one. It's not the love of feelings and emotions, but it's a love that obeys. Because if you obey His word, if you follow His word, if you submit your will to His will, if you enter the kingdom of God and allow and allow that the King and Lord will dwell in you, then there is the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is the member of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ because He dwells in you. He turns you into a temple itself, His temple, because that's what He wants. And we are not, let's say, illegitimate children, useless children. No, we are children born of the Holy Spirit, born of the water through the baptism and also with the Holy Spirit. And when this happens, then yes. Then, dear friend, as 
They say, you just have to go and celebrate. You go and score the goal and you achieve your victory. And everything else will be added. Everything that you need, he will be given to you according to your ability to handle that that he is giving you, the blessings that he gives. Okay? May God bless you all. And this Sunday, go to church with this focus. My God, I will go give myself on your altar. My offering is infinitely greater than anything that I can place on the altar. Money, gold, silver, jewelry, material goods, because these... This is nothing before a heart that is sincere, surrendered, given, dedicated to the Almighty God. This is what it is to please God. When you please Him, then He will satisfy the desires of your heart. Because by then, you have a new heart. Okay? We are going to be back here tomorrow. May God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And praise God.